everybody, welcome back, what is up? Thank you so much for stopping at my channel, for clicking on today's video, and for joining me today. I'm very happy to have you. My name is Valerie Kime, in case anybody is new, and today's video is everything postpartum. We're gonna be talking about my experience with postpartum, my postpartum journey. I am currently five months postpartum, which how long is it until you're not considered postpartum anymore, but yeah. And today's video is something that, to be perfectly honest, I've kind of dreaded filming a little bit just because I don't, I don't want people to take what I say the wrong way. So I feel like before I get into any of this, I just need to preface the entire video by saying my intention with this video is absolutely to not come across as that I am complaining about being a mom, that I am ungrateful. That is so not what I'm trying to say by sharing what I'm going to share with you. I am incredibly grateful for my little boy and that he is healthy and he's growing and that we were able to have a little boy at all. I am so blessed and I, it is something I do not take for granted because I know there's so many people out there who have experienced loss or haven't been able to have any children and I don't want to come across as being insensitive by what I'm sharing. I'm merely just sharing my experience postpartum physically and emotionally and yeah I just hope you take what I say with a grain of salt and just know that from the bottom of my heart I am not trying to come across as ungrateful or anything along those lines and so I hope you just know my heart when you hear what I have to say today um so that's why I've been a little bit nervous to share about it but I knew I wanted to share about my postpartum journey sometime because I just know that what you go through as a postpartum mama you are just you're not alone even though sometimes it feels like you are so alone but you're not and so by sharing my story i'm hoping that it can bring encouragement to somebody else and help some other mom know that she's not alone feeling what she may be feeling with all of that being said i'm just going to dive right into it and i first wanted to say a huge thank you to mom cozy for sponsoring today's video mom cozy is basically a brand that is focusing on trying to make life as a postpartum mom easier <laughs> and I say that because they so graciously reached out to me and we are doing a collab today and I just wanted to share a little bit about their products they sent me something that I'm so excited about and it is a wearable breast pump so I don't usually share things like this on my channel I am a little bit more closed when it comes to like a little bit more intimate things like this but they sent me three things that I'm going to be showing you guys today this is the mom cozy breast pump wearable breast pump um breastfeeding and just pumping and stuff like that in general is a huge part of my postpartum story obviously and so if I could have had this at the beginning of my postpartum journey it would have made me feel so much better because this is literally all it is it comes with one cord and that is to charge it and so there's no like cords and it only has six pieces to it total which just makes it so simple and such a sleek design and what's so nice about it you can just wear it right in your bra and you can do your other things while you're pumping and it worked really well for me and I just remember thinking if I could just have had this earlier it would have saved me so much stress with trying to figure out a huge clunky breast pump with cords everywhere that just stresses a new mom out or at least it did to me what I really like about the mom cozy breast pump is that it is so easy to take apart and to assemble it's very very simple and just makes it so stress-free the next thing they also sent me was this little lactation massager this lactation massager was designed with comfort in mind. It's so soft and just smooth all over. It is waterproof, so if you would need to use it in the shower or anything like that, you don't have to worry about getting it messed up or ruined. It provides great stimulation for breastfeeding so that you can get the best possible experience. And it is also supposed to help create a stronger letdown reflex with through like uh, nerve stimulation and stuff like that. So it has a lot of benefits. This is something that I actually didn't get to use too much but the little bit I have used it, it has worked great. So that is something else that has just been so nice. And yeah, I just, I like the color of it. Not that the color really matters, but it kind of does. <laughs> and then they also sent me a nursing bra, which is something, again, I don't usually talk about on my channel, like undergarments, personal things like that. But <laughs> this is what the nursing bra looks like. It looks a little bit more nude on camera, but in real life, it's a little bit more of a pink nude color and it's so soft it's like as soft as butter it comes with little clip extensions so that you can adjust it to fit you better as a pregnant mom a nursing mom and what i really like about this design is that sometimes bras have like they have like the removable nursing pad inside 
of the bra but what i really like about this one is that the pad inside the bra is like sewn in and it doesn't remove um it's sewn at the bottom and so it's not going to be in there getting all messed up that you constantly have to be fixing it or taking it out to wash it um so that was something I really liked about the design of this bra and I will put a link for all of this stuff in the description box and I also have a code for you guys. If you use the code Valerie23, you will get 23% off of your order, but that code only lasts till May 8th. So you're going to want to get on it if you want something, if you want one of these products, get on it now because today is the 4th. So keep that in mind when you are using the code. It is only valid till May 8th. So you can use the code VALERIE23 for the 23% off, but you can also use VALERIE10 for 10% off and that code never expires. So you can always come back to my channel and get a 10% off code if you would like, but the 23% only lasts until the 8th. So again, thank you to Mom Cozy for sponsoring today's video and for sending me these products. I was very excited and very happy and thankful to receive them. <laughs> anyway, so with all of that being said, now I'm going to jump right into my postpartum journey and my story with all of that. And don't even know where to start. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna start at the very beginning. So I'm gonna cover two aspects today. I'm gonna cover the postpartum physical journey and my postpartum emotional journey. And Mateo is laying over there on the floor if you hear him making noise. <laughs> so I'm just gonna start at the beginning of my postpartum journey, which is when I got home from the hospital. And this is the physical part of it. I had a first degree tear, which really wasn't that bad, but because of where I tore, it was more <laughs> painful than what it would have had to be at least that's what my midwife told me i don't really know because i haven't experienced any other types of tears or anything so we get home and everything's kind of going normal and like all like everything's going kind of as it should and you know how they always tell you to take a stool softener because you know that first time going to the bathroom can be a little bit yeah let's just <laughs> leave that right there so i was like okay i'll just i'll see once if i need it i'll take it so I got home and I ended up taking one stool softener, nothing happened, so I was just kind of going about my days and nothing was happening and so we were like, oh, I'll just take one more stool softener and immediately after I took that, I had horrible, like, I don't know, I just must have had a horrible, horrible reaction to it because I got IBS and it was horrible, like, my stomach hurt so bad I couldn't even stand up straight for a lot of the time that lasted several days I would say so that was not fun whatsoever Chip told me he's like I could literally look at you and just know you were in horrible pain like I could not hide it it was awful but fortunately that was only from the pills the nurse was like yeah maybe just stop taking those <laughs> so I did and that went back to normal pretty quickly I would say and but that was I feel like my whole physical postpartum journey wouldn't have wouldn't have had to be near as bad if I just hadn't taken those so now I know I'm just gonna I'm not gonna take a stool softener I'll just do some other method do what I gotta do but I'm not gonna take a stool softener next time I feel like I really don't have that much to say as far as the like physical recovery goes um except that now being five months postpartum I am a little bit suspicious if I need to do some sort of pelvic floor therapy because I still have some pain down there that I just feel like is not really normal so I'm gonna need to be talking to my midwife about that and I'm just we're just trying to decide what the right thing for us to do is if we should get that checked out do some pelvic floor therapy which I feel like it could be very helpful so that might be in my future before too long and I'm just not looking forward to it so I'm kind of pushing it off but um so honestly I would say like as far as recovery goes other than that like it has just gone super. I felt good um, physically wise, except nobody told me that it is painful when your milk comes in. And so I was just kind of clueless as far as that whole aspect goes. And really, that's kind of when the whole emotional thing started for me. Um, breastfeeding was just a huge deal to me. I'm like, why can't it just be as simple as feed your baby? But your body literally just had a baby and your hormones are just all over the place. And so everything feels like 10 times as big of a deal as what it really is. Like it really helps to talk about stuff, talk it with talk about it with your husband, your mom or whoever is close to you and it helps to talk about it or it did for me anyway. I would say it was probably when Mateo was about 2 months old is when I really just felt like I was I had baby blues. I just felt down a lot of the time. Um, this was actually when we were in Florida. I just remember one night when we, we had just gotten to Florida, so we were there for just a few days. I just remember bawling one evening because I was telling Chip, like, I just don't know who I am anymore. I don't, I feel like I'm just an entirely different person from when we got married. And I just felt like being a mom and didn't come natural to me. I felt like breastfeeding came extremely 
unnatural to me and I was like how can something so natural feel so unnatural literally was how I felt I wanted to quit breastfeeding so bad I just remember and even like when my milk came in and everything was so sore and I was just hormones were everywhere I had to figure out how to use this huge breast pump cords everywhere and buttons and pieces to assemble which was why I really wish I would have had this thing at the beginning because it's only like five or six pieces no cords um, and it's so simple so that is something that I really wish I would have had but I just had like a meltdown trying to figure that stuff out I wanted to like I said I wanted to quit breastfeeding so terribly bad but I was like if I can just get through like the first six weeks even and so around two months then like I said when we were in Florida I still was just like I didn't I just didn't want to breastfeed I hated it and to be it is not really that Mateo was doing bad with it like he did fine he latched perfectly from the start like that's not what the problem was it was for my mental state I just felt like my mental state was just suffering and I just remember thinking like I want to switch over but I felt like people were going to judge me so much for switching when technically breastfeeding was going good for the baby and I felt like switching for my mental state was a poor excuse to switch over to formula I just felt like I'm not I had so much mom guilt for even thinking that because I was like I'm sure formula isn't as good for him every time I would talk to somebody about switching the one of the first things they would say is oh, but breastfeeding is so good for them and I know that like I didn't need to be told that I just needed to have people have somebody understand where I was coming from but it felt like the reasons that people switched to formula was because their baby didn't do well on the breast milk their breast milk maybe had no quality that it should have it just felt like nobody switched for the mom's sake so I just felt kind of stupid somebody needs to go to bed so I'm gonna take a little break here put little man to bed and we will continue this conversation <laughs> commercial okay we're back oh I feel like this video is a little bit all over the place because I really didn't plan out too much what I was gonna say I didn't make any notes I'm just kind of sharing on a whim oh so I feel like I'm just kind of all over the place I'll try to keep it together <laughs> so while we were in Florida then after I finally voiced all of these things to Chip and just stop bottling these feelings up inside. So actually what I ended up doing, we talked about it and we decided it had been a good seven weeks um, of breastfeeding and I was like, I already met my first o overall goal. And so I was like, you know what? It's all right if I switch over, at least start to. Maybe just see if he'll take a bottle or something. So what I ended up doing, I actually purchased one box of formula. I used the Holly goat milk, organic goat milk formula. Pretty pricey, but I'll get into all of that stuff a little bit later too. Um, um, so basically I bought that box and once it arrived, just the thought that I had something to fall back on made me feel so much more um, at ease about the whole thing. I felt so much more at peace. So basically what I ended up doing from there... I started pumping a little bit more regularly, trying to get a stash up in the freezer, and I tried a bottle with Mateo because I was like, if I could just get a little bit of my freedom back, maybe I would feel a little bit more like myself. I'm not as tied down as what I think I am, maybe. So um, Mateo took a bottle, great. He's always done really well with a bottle. So what I started doing was pumping and bottle, and so on Sundays, I'm on Sundays I would give him a bottle at church, even just down to the fact of being able to wear what I want to wear to go to church helped me so much. It might sound so shallow, but I just felt like I was tied down every aspect of my life, even down to what I wear. Um, I always had to be nursing friendly, and I was just so discouraged. And I just didn't know who this person was. I felt like I looked in the mirror at a stranger. It's like now I'm this mom, and I have to figure out how I fit in as a mom in in my friend groups, in my church, and just in my family, and just like stuff like that. And it just felt like being a new mom, especially, everyone kind of watches you because they're like, oh, I'm kind of curious how she's gonna, how they're gonna parent in this circumstance or this circumstance. So it felt like all eyes were on you the whole time because it's your first baby. Everything is new. But yeah, so I gave him a bottle on Sundays and I started doing, that's what I did for quite a while. Um, and just the whole stress of everything I could tell was like affecting my milk supply. Once I started pumping, I had a little bit better of a supply. But just the whole thing of not knowing like if Mateo is fussy, is it something I ate? Um, and I just didn't know what to do as far as 
where to even start as far as like cutting things out of my diet and that looked so overwhelming to me yeah it just really helped that he was able to take a bottle because i realized you know what i'm not as tied down as what i thought i was um i can leave mateo with chip for a while and i can go get my groceries i can do whatever and i don't have to be back um by that next feeding i just had to make sure to pump then so, and I started taking supplements and things like that to boost my milk supply, things. That I had bought that box of formula, but I ended up not using formula at all until we got home from Florida. So, I felt like it just took that initial step of buying a box of formula just to make me feel a little bit more at peace. Then when we got home from Florida, I was like, then is when I'll start switching over if I want to. So, here and there, I would give him a bottle. Um... And the funny thing is now I'm like I said I'm five months postpartum now I don't really mind breastfeeding so much like I can't ever I don't think I'll ever just be able to say that I love breastfeeding it's just not something that I love in all honesty no matter if it goes well or bad for me it's just yeah and I have to realize that by me saying that I am not a bad mom by me not liking to breastfeed, that does not mean that I don't have a special bond with my son. If you don't enjoy breastfeeding, that's okay. You have to do what works for you, and if that is switching over, do it. Because I found myself um, in that period of time where I was always wishing that I, would, I could stop without being judged. I would look at moms who fed their babies formula, and I just felt jealous. I was like, I wish that I had an actual reason to stop rather than just my mental state. And it's just, I just felt like my thinking was so twisted because that it makes it sound like I was wishing that Mateo had a problem or a stomach ache and that's not even at all what I was meaning, but it's what it sounded like. Um, but I just remember looking at those new moms and thinking, oh, I wish I could bottle feed. But I just felt like I didn't have a reason to switch. Um, which now looking back, I'm very grateful that Mateo was doing well. I didn't have like a physical something wrong with the baby or me that I needed to switch. I'm very grateful for that. I think it was just the hormones of everything. First time mom syndrome, if that's a thing. Um, I think it was just everything just was crashing down all at once and it got so exhausting. It still gets exhausting. That's kind of the whole journey that I went on with that. I remember talking about, it, I think in a vlog in Florida saying, maybe one day I'll talk about this. And today's the day, I guess. But so now, now that I don't really mind breastfeeding, now is when my milk supply is actually going down. Around four months, I could tell I just didn't have as much. Um, I was kind of concerned that Mateo was not getting what he needed just because he wasn't sleeping great. And like, yeah, I don't know. I was just trying to narrow some things down to why he wouldn't be sleeping good. And I was like, well, maybe he's not getting enough. So I actually started supplementing. Um, I would breastfeed him and then offer him two to three extra ounces of formula and he always took it um, and I'm not sure if it's just because he liked to eat or if it was because he's actually still hungry <laughs> he seemed to do really well on that and so as I started supplementing I also don't feed him at night anymore stuff like that makes my makes your supply go down because there's not as much demand um, so now my milk supply is starting to go down and I have to say like I feel ready to stop breastfeeding but I still have that mom guilt that just something, that feeling that just kind of nags at me and says, you're not a good mom because a good mom would do what's best for her baby and what's apparently best for the baby is breastfeeding. That's the message that's always sent. Well, I have news. Breast is not best. Fed is best. And I just really had to come to that realization. And it's still something that I have to remind myself of. Like, I am doing what I feel is best for my baby and that's that's what makes a good mom is if they do things for the best and for the good of their baby. But it definitely took me a long time to realize that and I still like I still feel like I haven't fully grasped it, I guess in a way. Actually, just being perfectly honest, last night I had like a meltdown because I was just feeling a little bit how I felt back when I really was dealing with postpartum stuff at 2 months postpartum. I felt that same just heaviness over my mind. I couldn't even sleep because my mind was just going and going and going and I just was like I just don't feel like myself I feel like I'm in a rut and I don't think I'll ever be the same as what I once as what I used to be and of course I probably won't be I am a mom now and I love being a mom it's just been way harder for me than what I thought it would be to accept how life is different and that it's never gonna be like it was my body is never gonna be like it was my independence is never going to be what it was 
And sometimes you just have to sacrifice the things that you really would want to do for your child that maybe needs a nap and you just need to go home. That's been something that's been pretty hard for me sometimes. It's just not having my freedoms and I just feel like, I told Chip last night, I just feel like the person you married, I don't even think she exists anymore. Like, I just don't think that I'll ever be the same. And I just felt so down and so discouraged last night about all of that and if there's moms out there that understand what I'm saying, please let me know so I know that I'm not just like speaking in vain. <laughs> and I don't want to come across as just being this Debbie Downer. Motherhood is so hard. Motherhood is, it's so time consuming. You never get to do things for yourself. That's not what I'm saying. Sometimes that's how it may feel, but honestly, motherhood is such joy. I'm starting to really enjoy just like the routine of the day. Mateo is on a schedule and so he's got an evening routine. I, he's got his routine throughout the day and I've just really started to enjoy routine. And I love being his mom. I absolutely love it. I'm so thankful for him. I'm so excited to see, um, to see him grow and all the new things he's going to learn in life. Being a mom has definitely stretched me in more ways than what I can even count. And just keep in mind the preface that I said at the beginning of the video. Um, <clears throat> I don't want to come across as being ungrateful. But I do want to say that through all of the hard things that I've gone through, like just mentally even, trying to process things, it is hard. I will say that. It's hard, but it is also good. Um, and it's exciting. I get so excited for moms that are pregnant because I'm just like, even just experiencing birth is such a miracle. And I'm excited for anybody that gets to do that. Like, I understand it's scary sometimes. It's scary for your first one. It was scary for me. And it'll probably be scary for every child I have, but it's such a miracle. And I just get so giddy and excited every time I think about, oh my word, they get to have a baby. They get to be parents. I'm just so excited for them because there's so much joy that it brings. It's extremely rewarding. And obviously you just think your baby is the cutest thing in the whole world. And it's just so fun to see your spouse become a parent. And it's just extremely special, but I hope that all of this made sense, like I said, I kind of brought you up to date with where I'm at right now. Actually, I didn't say. Right now what I am doing, I breastfeed in the mornings and the evenings, and then Mateo gets a bottle all through the day. Um, and then I only pump as I need to because I'm trying to dry up my supply. I just feel like the next step for us is for me to stop breastfeeding, and I feel like it's right for us, and I feel like he's ready, and I'm ready, and chip is ready like we're just we're on the same page and it's that's also makes me so happy but that's where we're at today <sighs> i don't know how long this video has gotten i hope not too long but <laughs> and if you've made it this far props to you because yeah it's a chatty video <laughs> but yeah i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope what i said encouraged somebody just to know that you're not alone with the things you may be going through and don't come at me too hard in the comments because I'm trying to be sincere in what I share with you and just trying to be honest. So yeah, I just, my prayer with this video is that you can hear my heart and be encouraged. And that's exactly what I hope you are, encouraged. And I hope you have a really good rest of your Wednesday, rest of your week. And I will see you very soon next week on my video on Wednesday. Bye.